Welcome back everybody to most probably my last bow review, yes, but only my last bow review here in this place at Malta Archery in Malta. Of course I will move now and then on the other place I will do reviews again, so don't worry. So most probably this is the last one. It can be that next week we will do a Turkish bow, I will get a visit. And maybe they bring a bone, maybe we do a video, but we don't know yet. If not, then this is the last official review. Maybe I do another video because we have another special guest coming next week. Most of you will know it, it's Jörg Sprave from the Slingshot channel. He comes and he visits our range. But for now, this is most probably it. And, as you can tell, maybe the, the exclusive versions, you know, well packed, well shipped, AF archery, and which one was missing? Which one was missing? This one. It looks good and not good at the same time. So I like, I like it, but then even this brown, but then it looks, a I don't know, kind of plasticky, but it's, it's, it looks good. So we get a nice sleeve. We get a nice string and we get a nice bow and that's all. And it is, oh, so look at this handle, nice 40 pounds, look at this bow. Pretty, huh? Do I need to go over there to see it, huh? Look at this, it's an early Mongolian Yuan style and it's from AF Archery, the GB Generation 2 Yuan Mongol Laminated. It should fit 40 pounds. Ooh. Has strung 151 centimeters or 59.4 inches and the string is 133.5 centimeters or 52.5 inches. This one is a 40 pounder because I can't read. It's always a good thing. It's written there. And there of course you have the AF logo and here we have these. Looks like on old skis, you know, when, when they do alpine skiing. Uh, 20 to 50 pound and the max row is 34 inches. With this one I might believe it, but last time they posted something with the Turkish bow there was a mistake obviously in this bow there's 32. I guess max 30 inches nice. Arrow weight I don't know, but I guess again 9 grain per pound. But we don't know. So what do we get? We get bare paw glass, we get bamboo, we get black walnut, which we don't see anymore. <laughs> and we get apple wood somewhere. Maybe this one is apple, but I don't know. But it looks really, really, and look at this teeny tiny string groove here. Really nice. We have two times felt, unfortunately. I wish the bottom part would be a uh, felt suede and the top part would be a uh, ray skin because this will tear off quickly. But the shape overall, look at this fade out here. Then here starts again, going out to the seas. Nice. And the price of this pretty bow, 339 US dollars. Shipping, I don't know, you need to simply check on the website. I leave the link in the description. Pretty. What are we always doing? Measuring something, right? I hope you even can hear me with this noise back here. This is incredible. There is one tree and there are all these cicadas. And we have tons of them. I mean, not tons, because a ton of cicadas. 58.5. Knock to knock. Arrow, pad, arrow pass is nice. It's not too narrow, but it's okay-ish. So I guess we have the arrow here. And then we have, if I could read something, 26 millimeters. A good inch. Bit more than an inch obviously. Nice handle this one, rock solid, really nice. This leather, cool stitching, nice, good feeling. 
you get this tree. Nice, see one can pack strings nicely and then you can unpack them nicely. I like that. Now the string is one of the most important parts of your boat. So it's equal, I would say. Maybe this one is a little longer. So we take this as the top one. Pretty, huh? This brown is nice, but then when you look at it close, I don't know. But it's good. It's fine. So here we have this whole really small string. Grübchen. German word. I need to practice my German again a bit. Because the next range will be Austria. Ay, ay, 40 pounds is already way too much for me. I'm joking. It's easy. Look at this. So easy. You only make sure that in the bottom it's in the groove and then you can let go. And you can let go. Oh, oh. This is not so nice. When you step through, the sticker is not sticking. <laughs> nice bow. Feels good. Whee. There's tension. I like. Seven inches straight. I guess that's fine for this bow. And, and, oh, 400, I would say, 410, 440. Doesn't feel like 440, feels like 410. Thank you, nice. So, let's check. Straight, straight. Handle feels really nice. Only my wrist is hurting for whatever reason. So until here it's nice, but this is not 34 inches. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So for now, 32. Maybe after a few shots it gets a little better. I have 33 inch arrows. They are from Montage because I don't have longer arrows here anymore. They are packed. So until here it's nice, nice, nice. And then it gets a little stiff for now. Oh, we have a little. But I need to check how heavy these arrows are. So we have a little bit of vibration in the handle. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So not too much but directly in the beginning and you feel it quite a little in the hand. But it can go away. Let's see again. It shoots nice. Look at these curves. Silent. Even if it's a little contact. I need to shoot one more. Contact here though. Maybe the arrows are too lightweight. Nice. I don't know now what Generation 2 means, what they changed to the first one, but they always improved to the better. So I never had any AF bow, which they brought up a new version. It was not as good as the first version. Nice look, but not, that, not this directly here. Really nice. It goes a little out, so you have a nice round string running here. Nice one. So, and again, the glove is from Freddy Archery, just in case you want to know. But you can find an online look for KTP glove. <sighs> A bit to the right. Arrow pass is not so narrow. Still to the right. Okay. Yeah, only 7 inches spray side. Not like a Mugar. Still a little to the right, but nice and fast. And nothing annoying here. Really nice. Again, 10 meters. Bow feels good. I try to go for the left one here on this target. Yep, this one. Oh, to the right again. Look at this. So, handle. You really need to pay attention how you hold this handle. And then it works. A little too loose, not going to work. So you really have to have a firm grip on this one. But then, nice. 
and you see there is not even half an inch and then tension starts really nice and let's go for it so far so smooth 28 we have 39.7 so that's close to 40 i like that 30 inches Forty-four point seven. Five pounds more, two and a half pounds per inch. Fine. Oh, thirty-two. Fifty point six. So we have then six pounds. So you see then three pounds per inch more. Gets a little stiff. Let's see if we get to thirty-four. Not about that. So for now, this bow is maxing out at 32. So I can't tell you 34 inch. But at 32 we have... Forgot now. 50 pounds? Yeah. So, nine grain arrows would be then 400 something. I think these arrows are too light to it. But it's a... You feel the tension in this bow, that's nice, I like. Looking good. 45 degrees so far. I didn't find my measuring instrument anymore, but now we are at 60 degrees, at 30 inches. It's fine. Oh, 32 is already... Whew. 32 is a little tough, so 34 I don't see now, but can be again this misinformation from the bow builder. Not sure if this bow will do 34 inches, 32 for sure, maybe 33, 34, I'm still not completely convinced, but look at this pretty bow. Nice ears here, thin, don't need a lot. This is all very thin and sleek with the small string paddy here. Then these tapes here, you can like it or not, but they are there. This part is nice black and then you have this brown here, which looks nice and not. I like it and I don't like it. And then on the inside they simply should have left it black and not making this grey V's in it. But that's how they do it. Handle, nice. Nice stitching. Logo, nice. So a solid 32 inch draw, but more. We will see. Let's see what the bow is doing at 20. We still to the right. Quite a bit so, handle wise. You need to over grip, a, uh, I would over grip it a little, kind of a little bit of torque. Then it goes there, yeah. Yeah, and then you get the feeling for it, so nice. I scratched it now, so I need to do cut most probably, huh? So this is what I don't like, but you know, it's an easy fix. You put a little glue on it and most probably they run out of, or well, they simply didn't glue the corner there, but I can have and 30. Let's see, the arrows are maybe a little too lightweight for a 50 pounder. The left one. So I can draw this bow now, almost 33 inches, so it's fine. Needs to break in. Oh, that was a bad job. So, for now, not really predictable. More a guesswork, so with this bow, like with a K-Shig, you need to work that you know what it's doing. And, just in case you want to know. Archer, the way of life. Thank you, Gera. Gera? I don't know. From here to there, to the right one. Ui, nice. You really kicks arrows nice away. And it's silent. 
still too high. Look at this. It takes a few shots that you get used to it. But once you have it, this bow is not bad. It's good. Only you need to practice a while. 187, yeah, feels like nice, huh? 177, one on full draw. Oh, 161. We do it again. Oh, 193. Look at this. So at the end, every quarter inch makes a big difference. 183. 168. It's interesting. I think I always draw the same. But an average of, let's say, 180 foot per second, this is what I felt like. So 175, 180. With these arrows, they are maybe a little too lightweight, but it's getting better already. And I think the bow really needs to break in to draw more. Maybe really this bow does 34 inches, but not yet. So you, or I at least, need way more shots that I get used to what this bow is doing. Set it and shoot the center. Okay, maybe I know it now. Needs focus and needs this grip, you know, you press your three fingers against the grip here. Oh, nice. Now, the handle is how you hold the bow is crucial. A little string twist and almost Robin Hood it. So this one really these three fingers press so you over grip a little bit so not directly a little out and then you press with these three fingers against the bow you shoot then it goes a little out of the way but not much and with this squishy you have the right control of this bow and then I show you I need to show off now let you see you did you see what I'm talking about? See that? This is what you get then. Wait a second. See that? Firm grip here. Three fingers press against in this direction. Then it works nice. Of course, if you're now one of the Kashai followers, from the Kashai school. This handle is still good for it. It's relatively big, but it's still fine. So you can do your... Ow. Don't like. Works so, works. If you want, and it's not too long, this bow for horseback can work, no problem. Thing is, with every arrow you pull out, you change your grip slightly, and this is what this bow maybe does not like that much because you really need to have your three fingers here. When this bow is too loose in your hand, at least for me, it doesn't work. Maybe it works for you, I don't know. But it's a fun shoot huh? once you have the right grip on it. <laughs> nice and it's fast, and these arrows don't feel Nice. Anything like, nothing like dry firing. Look at this, another tight group. So it's, it's a, wow, fun shooter. Let's see, 10, 20, 30 meters. 10 is here. Nice. 20 is in the middle there. A bit to the right. 30 meters more over gripping and then three fingers tight a bit low but doesn't take that many shots only make sure you have the bow proper in your hand and this bow works like a charm nice <sighs> back to my improvised table you know what is coming the conclusion um, in the beginning 
with the shooting I was a little, mm, I don't know what the bow is doing, but it was simply I held the bow not tight enough. Once you have the bow really good in your hand and this handle is really big enough for my hand, it's not a problem. The second thing in the beginning, the draw didn't feel like. Now we have maybe 33 inches, still no 34, but let's see. These arrows are exactly 33. Let's see if I can draw. Can you see it? Guess so. Yeah, that's 33. So maybe when it breaks completely, it does 34. Maybe. So I give it to you if this bow might do 34. In 40 pounds, it's most probably already tricky. In 50 pounds, even trickier. But if you have this in 30 pounds, most probably it's 34 is an easy task, I guess. So. Both strings leave nothing else, four points. Handling, the bow, despite these curves and all these small fiddly things, was very easy to string, even because of these ones. It was very easy, you hold this one in place, and then you simply make sure that the string lines up here, and then you go, let the tension go, and this bow is just nice, and this bow is straight. Has bare pro glass, so should be not a problem, and this one got better now. Yeah, nice. So, handling of this bow, easy, 10. The build, oh, yo, yo. build is nice. As you see, this is just a beautiful bow. This brown, you need to like it. So, I'm still a little mixed feelings about this brown. On one side, it's nice. On the other side, it looks a little, I don't know, not plasticky, but I don't know, artificial, I don't know the right word for it. But it has nothing to do with the build, it's simply optics. And the other thing, optics, these these V's here, you see them, they look a little... I mean, if you want a fake horn, make it differently, but these V's here, I don't know, they don't make sense for me. These uh, stickers are underneath the last lacquer, the, the clear paint, so they will not come off, that's fine. Only here we had this small thing, but it's really, I don't mind, this can happen. Now we fix it, so I'm not that nitpicky. For the rest, the build is really flawless. The string is really nice, the serving is very nice. Nothing to complain here. The basic feel, handle, is nice. Arrow pass, I wish it would be narrower like we had on other bows from AF, but it's okay, you get used to it. So you only have seven inch brace height and a bit wider arrow pass. That's why I shot to the right for the first few shots, but you get used to it once you shoot the bow a while. So that's not a big thing. Uh, for the rest, this bow feels, feels good, feels nice. So it's not too heavy, not too unbalanced. So even on a horse, I can see that bow, not a big thing. So handling of this bow, with this handle you only really need to make sure that you don't hold the bow, you know, not completely like this. You slide it a little more out to your thumb, over grip a little, and then press these three fingers in this direction. So you press the handle against this side of your hand, this side of your hand. And then this bow works really nice, 10. Draw experience, the bow gets a little stiff at the end. So here 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and then it's really, so we have quite some stacking. For the rest it's nice. So you see from here, there's only a slag of a quarter inch or something, and then there's already tension. So it's nothing sloppy here. Oh, there's mosquitoes here, go away. I give a nine for the draw experience because it really gets stacking at the end. Shooting experience after a few shots, nice shooting experience, doesn't feel anything like dry firing, works just nice. What do we have? I don't know the max poundage now. Works just nice, has a little vibration in the hand, but it's totally not annoying, so you forget that it's there. And this, this leather handle is quite cushy, so not a thing. I would not complain. You need a few shots with this bow, at least I needed a few shots, so I don't know what this bow is doing. Not as easy as the, the, the Persia Grab Pro. This one needs a little more attention, but I give you 10. And we have 49, 53 points. 
and the price 500, uh, 340, 339 US dollars. I think for laminated bow with bare glass in it, still fine. When you see the price development now everywhere, it's still in a very good price range. So I give you five for that because it's just fine. So I, if you're up for a, a early Mongolian style bow and you like what AF is doing, this is definitely, I didn't even check here, stiff, very stiff. So this bow is really sturdy. And because of this, it's a little more forgiving, but you still need a little practice and to hold the bow properly is crucial for it. Then it's fine, but even with seven inch brace, I'd see you don't get any string slap as long as you shoot properly. So really nice mate. Thank you very much AF for building this nice bow and that I could have one. Nice, there you have 40 pounds. Nice. It's not annoying. One, two, three. Or gets shorter so I guess after a few more hundred shots this bow maybe even does 34 inches right now safe 32 normal 33 I would say 34 I'm not sure but for this for the price just fine Whoop. so that's all I have for you today thank you very much for watching catch you in the next one